A live look at the White House. President Biden is asking Congress for billions of dollars to help resettle Afghanistan evacuees. This comes as the nation's top diplomat is in Germany, where thousands of Afghan citizens are still awaiting flights to the U.S. CBS reporter Skylar Henry has more from the White House. Secretary of State Antony Blinken toured Hangar 5 at Ramstein Air Force Base in Germany. The last stop many Afghan evacuees will make before moving on to America. Because of what you've done and because of how you've done it, you have literally saved lives. You have literally changed lives. You've, you've literally changed futures. Administration officials say as many as 65,000 Afghans are expected to arrive in the U.S. by the end of the month. Some Republican lawmakers, including Congressman Andy Biggs of Arizona, are concerned about the vetting process. He sent a letter to DHS demanding more information, saying we need to ensure that these individuals are being properly vetted and do not pose a risk to our communities. CBS Evening News anchor and managing editor Nora O'Donnell asked DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas why some Afghan evacuees on the terrorist watch list are showing up in America. So how many people have been removed from the United States for showing up on one of these lists? So our screening and vetting process is going very, very well. Um, and we're dealing with very, very few people that have given us any cause uh, for concern. President Biden is asking Congress for more than $6 billion in emergency spending to help resettle the refugees in America. This is an important responsibility of the United States government to help, the, to help folks right now who are here uh, to find places in the United States. CBS News has learned the emergency funding request includes a provision that would make the refugees eligible for green cards after only one year in America. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. There's still a tense situation on the ground in Afghanistan. The Taliban is refusing to let several charter flights leave. They were organized by private groups carrying Americans, green card holders, and Afghan refugees.